with each breath, try and feel that your heart rate's slowing down. You're finding yourself more in the room, nice and calm. When we meditate, some people might think it's really easy, but it's actually quite complex. At school, right, if I, when we have the meditational class, or like in the morning if I meditate, it helps me concentrate throughout the day. And if I get stressed out, then I just close my eyes and think about meditation and I'll, and I'll get back to um, work if I'm distracted. Now, hands on our laps or folded on the desk. We're gonna do a little bit of mindfulness. Well, the biggest results I see in the students um, after doing mindfulness for a little while is their engagement and their calm and their quietness. Um, sometimes, like I do mindfulness in a co-teaching environment and, and sometimes I'll look at the other teacher with a look of bewilderment because we've got 42 kids and none of them are speaking a word and they're all working and it's, it's, um, that's not the norm. So the journey really was working with the staff, um, uh, bringing about their realisation around what mindfulness could do. And so then of course we did some intensive professional learning around um, mindfulness. Kids do settle and are, are kinder to each other. They show empathy and compassion because they understand themselves better. Mm. And I think that's one of the really um, strong aspects of mindfulness. I think they're able to be engaged for longer. There's greater focus. If you can focus longer, then therefore you're going to academically improve. Mindfulness is for you to be able to focus and be concentrated on one thing and not be everywhere at once, just in the one situation. It works at home for me definitely. I just go into my bedroom, sit on my bed and meditate. I tend to get very anxious when I before I perform. So before I go on stage, I just breathe. I just take three or five big deep breaths and then I, I sit down on the piano seat, I do it again and then I play. <laughs>